Mm, coffee. Hey guys, it's Natalie. You know, the one thing that I wanna make sure that I never run out of at my house is coffee. And if I'm being honest, it's probably actually the creamer that I don't want to run out of. But either way, I just know that I don't want to get up and start my day without it. You know, it's hard being a parent. It seems like everyone is always needing something from you. Um, right now, I'm a cook. I am a nurse, I'm the teacher, uh, so it just seems like, you know, everyone's asking me a question or needing something all of the time, um, and that's hard because I don't always have the answers. Um, sometimes one of my kids is needing me to comfort them, and it's hard for me to be able to comfort them if I'm not feeling comforted myself. Um, so, you know, the question I'm really asking is, how am I supposed to comfort my children whenever I don't feel comforted? What you're really asking is how can I keep pouring into them when my cup is empty? Well, it's time to fill your cup. And this time I'm not talking about coffee anymore. I am talking about filling your cup up with Jesus. You see, we don't have to swoop in and know all of the answers or be the hero of the story. We just need to be filling our cup from the one who is the hero, from the one that does have all of the answers. Um, you know, one of my um, favorite verses in the Bible is in John chapter 16. It brings me a lot of comfort and encouragement. It's when Jesus is talking to his disciples um, before he is crucified. You can imagine that you know, they're feeling like there's some dark days ahead of them as he's telling them about his impending death and his departure from them. Um, but in John 16, chapter 33, he says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace because of me. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Um, I don't know about you, but I find a lot of comfort in that verse. If we truly believe that God is omnipotent, that means he's all-powerful, he's omniscient, that means he is all-knowing, um, then we should be able to find peace in knowing that God is in control and there is nothing that he cannot overcome. So make the choice each day to fill your cup up from the Bible, to fill your cup up from Jesus so that you can then pour into those around you. Pray with me. God, we love you so much. Thank you for continually pouring into us, filling our cups, God, with your encouragement, with your love, with your peace, Lord, so that we can then pour out on those around us, God. Help us to always look to you for the answers um, and look to you for uh, just every need, God, so that we can, in turn, be the better mom, be the better spouse, God. Um, as we are pouring into others. We just love you so much. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on the road.